Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. I'm Shubham and you're watching Let's Create an App. So in this video, we will see how we can create custom alert in Swift UI. And if you want to learn how we can create custom alert in Swift, I've already have a video about this thing. You can check out the i button and the description for the link. And if you want to learn custom alert in Swift UI, stay with me in this video. So first, let's look into the demo first and then we will see how we can create this kind of functionality. So this is the basic UI which we will see in which we are having one image and these two buttons. So as I click on this success alert button, it will show the success message, success uh, uh, icon and some message and these two buttons. So as I click on this OK button, it will show that OK clicked and again I will click on success alert and as, as I click on this close button, it will show cancel clicked. Similarly, if I click on this false alert, it, it will show the uh, cross icon uh, th that means that uh, this is failure and the same functionality is written over on these two buttons so by the end of this video we are able to create this kind of functionality and if you want to read an article about this thing and all get the all the codes you can check out my website and you can also follow me on the social media platforms like instagram facebook uh, twitter and even i'm start blogging on medium as well so you can uh, go and follow me on the medium all the links are mentioned in the description and please don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and if you are new to the channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notifications of all my other videos so without wasting any time let's get started so open an xcode click on app and click on next and give the whatever name you want to give i'm just giving custom alert in swift ui something like this and be sure that interface should be swift ui and the language should be swift and click on next and create this project where i want to create i'm creating this project on my desktop now the project has created and it will look something like this the previous section is looking something like this now we have to uh, delete this part and we have to uh, create the basic layout which we have seen in the demo so for that first we need to take a z stack because as we know that uh, we need z stack whenever we have to put something on top of another so the view which will uh, coming at the top is uh, uh, coming on the z stack that's why we need z stack over here and in that we need to use again v stack because uh, image view and uh, uh, those buttons all are arranged in a horizontal order so now first take an image and over here we need to uh, we need to give the name of the image so i'm already added a image uh, in this project the name is demo now we have to resize this image so we have to use a resizable and now we have to define a frames to this image so we have to simply use this one and in this we have to define 300 as a width uh, 300 as a height and there should be no alignment uh, like this so i think this is going to be work and it will show an image to us let's build this thing and see the preview that is it working or not now we have to uh, put two buttons over here so we have to just take buttons at the bottom of this thing simply use button like this and we have to use this overloaded method in which we have to pass the title in the action and in the title we have like uh, uh, success alert something like this and action should uh, remains empty now give the another thing another button for a, a failure thing also this one and this is a failure alert and the action remains empty so now let's build this thing and see that this is this is able to see or not so yeah we are able to see the success alert and the failure alerts now we need to push all these things at the top of this uh, controller so we have to put the uh, z stack uh, sorry spacer at the end so it will push all the things at the top something like this so I think this is going to be work. Okay, yeah, fine. So everything is at the top. Now we have to define the actions for these two buttons and we have to define the overlay which we will see. So let's uh, design that part. So for that, first we need to take one uh, new Swift uh, class, Swift, Swift UI class. So the name should be like uh, uh, custom alert view. You can choose any other name also. So I'm using custom alert view something like this because this is a customized class in this file we have to design the custom view which we will see uh, in the demo this part so let's design this thing so just remove this part and now we have to uh, take v stack because all the things are arranged in the vertical stack you can see this thing over here that all the things are arranged in a vertical stack so first we need to take one image so simply use image and again we need to pass one image name over here and now we have to do this thing resize we are we will uh, left this thing because we will do some other coding uh, to pass the dynamic image name according to the uh, things which will pass from the uh, previous controller now we have to make this thing as a resizable now we have to define the frames for this image and the width and uh, height should be like 50 pixels is sufficient and there should be no alignment something like this okay so after that we have to uh, design the message so simply use text over here simply text and let's define the alerts 
or some other text you can use over here now we have to define two different buttons in a, buttons in a horizontal stack so for that first uh, take one edge stack over here and now we have to define two buttons so simply use button something like this and again same thing and in this title we have to define ok and there is no action right now and again take one more button this one and in this we have to define the cancel something like this so let's see is it working fine or not so as you can see it is not looking cool as we want so for that first we need to uh, fix the size of this v stack and we have to define the corner radius and color of this v stack so simply move over here at the end of the v stack where the v stack gets ended and in this we have to define the frames of this v stack so the width will remain according to the screen so we have to use a ui screen ui screen not scene ui screen dot main dot bounds dot width so if we define the width something like this it will take the complete width of the screen so we have to reduce some size in the width so i'm just uh, reducing minus 50 pixels from so it will automatically make this thing in a center something like this and the height will remain uh, like 200 pixels 100 is less 200 is fine i think yeah and there is no alignment so we have to remove the alignment thing now we have to define the uh, color for this uh, v stack so use the background thing over here and in this background thing we have to define the color color dot black something like this so it will give us a black view this black is very dark thing so first we need to make it opacity uh, change the opacity of this color so use the opacity over here something like this and it should be 0 0.5 so it will make it a uh, little bit dull something like this now is it like looking cool now we also need to make the corner radius of this view so we have to simply use uh, the properties corner radius now we have to make this thing as a clipped also so you can see that it is showing us some kind of a corner radius and it will uh, prompt us a good uh, pop up something like this thing something alert kind of a thing now the things are not cool even because uh, these two buttons are very close to each other this message is coming over here there is no image so let me pass the image name so i've already added the image in this folder so that na name is check so let's uh, see this thing that after putting this thing how is it looking so all the things are very close to each other so this is not looking very cool so first let's make this thing uh, pretty cool so first uh, we have to define the uh, spacers between three elements so that it will define spaces according to the need spacer like this and copy this thing and again space over here then see that how is it looking so it looks something like this now the image uh, is very uh, attaching with at the top so let's give it a padding so dot padding and we have to give the padding to a specific uh, side so that is top that is 10 pixel is it looking cool now but then but now the buttons are not looking cool so we have to define the size of the buttons so simply use frame property over here dot frame and in this frame we have to define the height and width so the width is uh, with respect to the ui screen as we are already using this thing so width divided by 2 complete ui width divided by 2 minus 25 so this is how we will identify the width of the button and the height should be like 40 pixels the 100 is very big 40 pixels and the alignment should be nothing something like this so it is looking cool similarly we have to define the same thing for a uh, cancel button also so we will define this thing also in this way so these two buttons are uh, perfectly coming now we have to define the uh, foreground color for the text of these buttons yes we can define the foreground color of the text something like this so simply use this property dot foreground color dot white so it will uh, give, give us a nice uh, uh, buttons something like this now there is no divider so let's add the divider also so simply use divider over here like this so it will automatically add one divider so this is looking something nice and it is already as we have seen in the uh, demo part now what we have to do we have to uh, define the properties and actions of all the buttons over here as well as over here now when a user click on these two buttons it will able to show the custom alert view uh, as we have seen in the demo part so for that first we need to define one state property over here so whenever that state property get changed it will render the view again and it will show the alert so the initial property is false because initially the alert is not showing so what we have to do we have to toggle the show property dot toggle something like this for both the buttons right and now when this v stack gets ended we have to uh, show the alert view when this toggle property is true 
when this show, shown property is true so if shown and now we have to show the custom alert custom alert view like this but still this custom alert is not able to get this thing because we didn't pass the state of this shown so we have to pass the state of this shown in this binding property over here so we have to create one binding property over here binding where shown and it should be of bool type something like this and it will prompt an error over here that it will uh, take bool, bool property right so we have to define the bool property over here dot constant and it's false the initial property is false something like this now whenever user click on this ok button or cancel button we have to again change this property so simply write shown dot toggle and same thing for this also shown dot toggle so now let's see this thing that is it working over here or not because i think it is going to be show an error because we have added one property so that is shown and this is a binding property we have to use a dollar type dollar sign to show this thing so now let's uh, resume this thing and let's see that is it working or not and we have to uh, give it a live preview to test this thing that is it working or not so now let's click on this show alert and it is successfully able to show the alert but uh, it is not blurring anything so for blurring the things we have to uh, blur this v stack so we have to use dot blur and in the radius part it, it will be uh, used according to the property if the shown is true then we will give the 30 pixels because it is presenting that alert view otherwise it will zero so now let's resume this thing and see that is it working so as we click on this thing it will uh, blur the background view and it will presenting an alert but uh, but there is nothing happening there, there is no action is showing that is, is it uh, uh, ok clicked or cancel clicked so for that first we have to uh, add the text property over here so simply use text property but before defining our text over here we have to uh, detect that which button has been clicked like cancel is clicked or ok has clicked so for that we have to move on this uh, custom alert view class and we have to create one m anum at the top like anum clicked button you can use any other name also case ok case cancel something like this and now we have to uh, define one property binding property uh, because whenever user click any of the button over here it will uh, pass that binding property on this content view again similarly like shown is pa passing in this thing so that will detect over here that cancel is clicked or okay uh, okay is clicked right so in that uh, way we can do this thing so uh, button clicked button click something like this and this should be of cancel type or this should be of this uh, this type like this okay now uh, we are also need to take one more case that is none because at the initial state none property is there none like this and i think uh, we need to use a small case uh, not all capital case like this and in this uh, it, it is prompt us an error that we need to provide one more property so it should be like that constant dot none like this okay now we have to uh, change the property of this button click uh, button click equals to dot ok and in the similar way we have to change this property to cancel over here like this so whenever user these click on these things uh, this will bind on this and it will move this property over here because it will show one property over here also that uh, we need to pass button click and again we have to define one more property that is also a state property and uh, this property name is button click as we have used uh, this thing uh, in the next uh, view and this is of type uh, that is click button like this and the default value should be like none because nothing is going to be clicked at the initial stage now we have to use the same property over here that is button click like this thing now we have to pass that thing in this text property so we have to simply define text property over here so if uh, button click is equals to equals to dot ok something like this then what we have to do we have to pass the message like uh, ok clicked otherwise again we need to test that button click is equals to equals to dot cancel if this is true then we have to uh, pass the message like cancel clicked else we don't to pass we don't need to pass any message so we have to do something like this and it is prompting an error that uh, uh, okay well, i think uh, this need to be changed the spelling of the cancel is wrong yeah so now this is 
cool let's resume this thing and see that is it working or not okay so let's uh, click on this thing success alert and uh, now let's click on this cancel button and it is not showing anything over here i think there is a issue with the preview section now it's working fine in this content view so as i click on this uh, success alert and click on this ok thing it will uh, print the messages according to our need now we have uh, one thing like that right now what we are doing we are just showing every time success because we have hard coded the success uh, image name over here but we have to create a property that property will be passed from the back uh, from the previous controller that success and this is of bool type false this is of bool type we don't need to provide the default value at this moment it should be false like this and uh, yes it will prompt one error over here and we have to define the false over here like this and now we have to uh, use this property to identify that which image will be passed over here so if success then we have to pass the check image otherwise we need to pass the remove image or that cross cross image this one remove image this cross image like this now we have to pass this success property also from this content view on this alert uh, custom alert view class so just uh, type here is success and now whenever user click any of these button we have to update one property so we have to simply take uh, where uh, success similarly we have uh, taken this property uh, in the next in, in the next controller but i think this should be changed so that's why we have to change take this thing as a uh, at the rate state property like this and it should be like is success because it's a bool property and the initial value is false because in, in initially uh, the success is false now we have to update these properties before this thing so is success is equals to and in this it is true right and in over here it is like this false and in this we have to pass this is success property so now let's resume this thing and see that whenever we click on the success button it will show the success alert or not and click on this cancel now let's click on the success alert again and click on ok now click on the false alert and it is showing a, a success image after clicking on the false uh, uh, button might be there is some issue with the preview area so i'll just uh, close this xcode and run again so now let's click on this success and it will showing a success alert and as i click on this false failure alert then it is showing a failure alert uh, as per the need now even we can also do one more thing that we can customize this uh, uh, message according to our need so we have to simply use the same thing over here and we have to pass like message and it should be like string like this and we have to pass this message over here so it this message is also now uh, configurable according to the user and we can pass that message over here and it should be like empty string right now right now we can pass this message from here like this and please show alert something like this so now let's resume this thing and see that is it working fine or not and uh, again there is one again the same issue is there that it is not updating so let me so then let, let's see this thing in the simulator directly so it's an iphone 11 simulator let's run this thing and see that is it working fine or not in the simulator because I, I don't know why this preview section is not showing this thing so the simulator is running now click on this thing and please show alert it's the same which we have passed over here like this from here so you can update the string some same similarly like we have updated the success thing so it is completely configurable now you can show this custom alert various places by just simply passing these things so and even we can get the actions that which action is get clicked over here something like this so this is for today if you like this video please don't forget to hit the like button and if you are new to the channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notifications of all my other videos and if you have any query or suggestion please you can mail me or you can uh, contact me over the social media all the links are mentioned in the description so meet you in the next video thank you